just kind of a, uh, you know, it's like having binoculars, but smaller and lighter. So I don't use an inhaler, but my wife does. So I carry an emergency inhaler in my bag. This is her, one of her expired ones. So one expires, um, for her, she carries her expired, she carries her, uh, up to date ones. I take an expired one, throw it in my bag. Uh, then when she has another one that's expired, I take it, the one that's expired out of my bag and put that in the first aid kit at home. Um, she also has a, uh, get home bag as well that has another, uh, inhaler in it. So, um, uh, you know, if you've got, a, this is where, if you've got something that means life or death, carry, carry it with you. If it's your wife's or your, your uh, boyfriend's, girlfriend's, whatever, and they need it, have it with you all the time. You know, have one in your truck or your car or whatever. Don't be like, oh, you, you didn't bring your inhaler? Or, you know, uh, no, I didn't. Well, I guess, I guess well, well, we'll see when I when we see you, I guess. No, have one. <laughs> Makes sense. Okay, so uh, I have a lighter. Um, again, I'm not big on the redundancies on this bag because, uh, again, I'm, I'm, I'm not planning on using it for a long uh, day or two. So this is a Bic lighter inside of an Exotac waterproof case um and i've actually gone swimming with this thing and uh, out in the water when i was out in the water uh held it up uh, out of the water um pulled the top off of it and lit it and uh impressed some impressed well my brother for one but um it was kind of impressive to light a lighter after swimming with it um advil so these are advil gel caps but whatever advil because if you're walking long distances um and uh, you know things are going to get painful your back's going to hurt your feet are going to hurt and having some advil with you all the time just to say oh, hey do you have any pain meds yeah i got them right here bam nice just something i have um i have a nice sharpener i don't know why i'm not gonna be out in the woods long enough to sharpen a knife uh is the plan but eh, you know maybe so Here's a knife sharpener. It doesn't really weigh anything. Um, and, uh, you know, so I got it. Um, I have a piece of silver. This is one ounce of silver. It's worth about 20 bucks. So, I don't know. If I if I need a cab ride or something like that, hopefully I can, it, if uh, if there's a any kind of a financial thing. I mean, you can't eat money. Um, you, you could have hundreds of dollars with you, um, in paper, but silver's always going to be silver. Gold's always going to be gold. And it's always going to be worth something regardless of, of our situation. I have a compass here. This is a Sun Tzu compass. Just a little guy. Um, it hangs off of here. Uh, something I also should have mentioned, and I, I'll mention it now, is that all the zippers on my bag... You'll notice this one, this one, I'm oh, sorry, <laughs> this one, this one, this one, all the zippers are over on this side of the bag, except for this one. This one is the only one that's on the other side of the bag. So at night, if it's dark, and I reach down at the bag, and I feel it, and I come across a zipper that's on this side of the bag, it's the only set of zippers that I keep on that side of the bag. And this is why. I guess I didn't mention the hand sanitizer right there. So, inside here is Glock 23. This is an inside the waistband uh, appendix style holster with an extra magazine. So this is Glock 23, and if you know anything about Glocks, you know that they are chambered in, uh, that the 23 is chambered in 40 Smith & Wesson. Um, I've done a couple modifications to this thing. I undercut the, I undercut the, uh, the trigger guard, and um, I did some modification on the, um, on the trigger guard itself so my hand just fits it better. I've got this Hogue, uh, I'm not really sold on it yet, but I've been, I've had it on there for a while, this Hogue, um, uh, grip it's okay 
I don't know. I did a little bit of stippling myself here on the on that side and where I high index my finger on this side. And uh, I have the Magpul, uh, which I wasn't really sure I was going to be super happy about. But the Magpul um, uh, um, magazine well. Uh, and, um, man, it's really nice. It works really well. It's, uh, it's secure. You don't, you don't screw it in too tight. It doesn't do anything uh, bad to the, to itself or the gun. And, um, it, it just, I don't know. It works. I wasn't really expecting it to work so well. I was expecting to throw it on there hate it and pull it off and discard it for one of these $90 aluminum things. <laughs> but this was like 20 bucks. So, uh, and it works. So I'm not, I'm not going to pull it off. Um, Oh, it's got extended, uh, it's got a, the extended, um, slide release and the, uh, takedown lever and the magazine release are all extended. One other thing about the, the Glock 23, if you're, if you're thinking about getting a Glock and you're thinking, wow, oh, I like nine millimeter and I really want to go with a Glock 19, that's a great gun. It really is. Uh, it's a fantastic choice. Um, however, let me show you this in this bag that's down on the bottom of that same thing. Uh, I have a 